All right, so in our last little look here, what we have to do is we're, we're almost done with this bishop. Uh, we've got to make sure that we can actually get the little notch cut into the side of the bishop's hat. So to do that, uh, I'm going to create a NURBS cube. I'm going to go into the Surfaces shelf tab and create a cube. Not a polygon cube, but a NURBS cube. And I'm going to move this up. Hit R to kind of squeeze it together with that red cube, which is now yellow. Uh, and then grab the blue cube and pull it out just a little bit. Grab the move tool and uh, I'm going to position this in place right in here so it fits as a gap. Now, this little setup, one of the things we have to know about it is that a NURBS cube is actually not a solid cube. It's a group with six individual planes inside of it. That's the first thing you should be aware of this. The second thing is it doesn't really have any divisions across it. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually intersect this cube with the bishop hat. And then we're going to cut out, using the trim tool, the sections that we don't want. To do this, though, we've got to make sure that our grid flow matches up, uh, at least in a way that has enough divisions to try and keep the curvature. So I'm going to say, why don't we select any one of those individual planes and go to the attribute editor. We'll go to our middle tab and we'll up the number of patches in U and V. Uh, and I'm going to a value of like 12 by 12, which might be overkill, but I'm trying to make sure that this has just enough to make sure that it works. I'm going to select the side face, which actually doesn't intersect with the hat at all. I'm going to hit backspace to delete it. I'll do the same thing with this top face and the other side. We really only have three faces that actually intersect with the hat. Then what I'm going to do in the hypergraph is select the NURBS cube group. Hold down shift and select the hat. I'm then going to go to edit NURBS and about halfway down there's an option called uh, intersect surfaces. Oh, sorry. About right near the top is an option called intersect surfaces. Um, and I'm going to click intersect surfaces uh, and you'll notice a couple of strange things happen. One is that you'll have a little white line going around this border edge. Two, if I select any of my surfaces, they're going to appear to be slightly dotted in their eyes of arms. Now, with these surfaces, I can now trim them out to remove the unnecessary intersecting areas. For example, this, let me select the hat, and I'll go to Edit NURBS, and I'm going to choose the Trim Tool. You'll see my hat now becomes a sort of white wireframe, and my cursor has become a little asteroid-shaped as uh, little arrow. Well, I'm just going to click in the area that I want to keep, creating a little yellow diamond, and I'm not going to click in the area that I want to remove. So I click in the area I want to keep, and I hit Enter. And we've got very clearly defined dotted line. I've now cut out that little section through the center. I'm going to repeat this process with the other trimmed parts. So I'll select one plane, go to Edit NURBS and choose Trim Tool. Just click on the area which I want to keep, which is the lower part, and hit Enter and the upper section is going to be removed. I'll do it a couple more times. Trim tool, click on the part I want to keep, hit enter, and then for the lower section, trim tool, click on the middle section and hit enter, and there's my notch. Now the grid flow for this isn't great in the same way as that our bottom cap that we originally created wasn't exactly perfect. But again, for something that isn't going to deform, this I think is a really nice approximation of what we're after. To wrap up this model, I'm just going to go in the hypergraph, take this NURBS cube, 
grab it into the bishop group, and rename that nerds cube hat underscore notch. I will go to edit, delete all by type history to remove any construction history from this. And since I'm now done, I might as well remove my construction curves group. So there's my completed bishop. I can scale this up or down to change its proportions or rotate it or move it wherever I want as a group. I'll go ahead and go to File, Save Scene As, and go ahead and choose my saving location, which is a bishop folder I've already created. And I'll just call this Bishop 1, hit Save, and I have completed my project. So there's the bishop. Here's how it compares. Most of the geometries there. It's of course got a little bit of a different form, but we're keeping the basics the same. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video series.